Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are taking on the Terrifying Conquerors Super Battle Road, the new one that just came out on Global, um, and I'm trying something a little bit different. So I know I'm probably running, for the most part, the same team as most people, where uh, I think having AGL full power Frieza as the lead is a very effective tactic, and then running a full Sworn Enemies, Namek Saga build, build that are also Terrifying Conquerors, right? Uh, the thing I'm doing a little bit differently, though, is I'm running this mini Ginyu package. So I've got Jace and I've got Ginyu. Now, what I'm doing here is my thought behind it is I like Jace as a floating support, but having Scouter in Super Battle Road is very powerful because if I know where the supers are coming, it possibly can save me an item. It could save me, uh, like, could help me fix my rotations in terms of where should I put certain characters, things like that. Seeing how many super attacks are coming might help me determine what type of item to use. And then... Uh, I'm actually running Int Ginyu, so not the Ginyu you would be expecting because I'm not on JP, right? I think AGL Ginyu would probably be very powerful in here, um, but I am running the Int Ginyu. And so this is a free-to-play unit, but he is very good after his EZA and I think uh, can actually do quite well. And so the reason why I'm running him in here, he's always been a good Super Battle Road unit. So for those of you who are maybe unfamiliar with this guy, basically, uh, if I'm facing two or more enemies, he gets 50% damage reduction. Um, and he gets an additional attack plus 50 and disables guard if there's another Ginyu Force on the team, which Jace is. But having that 50% uh, damage reduction is going to be very good. So I think that Ginyu can actually tank pretty well in here. Um, a lot of people, I think, are catching on to the fact that this Frieza is one of the better free-to-play units in the game. If you're facing Goku family, which I believe in this event we are, um, damage another 50% damage reduction. So just running a couple of powerful damage reduction units. Now, obviously... AGL Golden Frieza, Tech Golden Frieza are very obvious choices here. I just wanted to try something a little bit different, right? So, and I am bringing like the ridiculous uh, Namek Saga support memory, which is going to be very useful as well. So let's hop in, see how it goes. Um, if I die, I'll just hop in again and try it again right away. But I'm not sure, I'm probably going to play it pretty safe. My first run, I always like to be fairly safe. So we got a pickle. Okay, so no Goku family here. So that's not going to fare well for our free to play. If we're not running... Uh, I didn't look at the rest of it, but if there's not Goku family, we could be in trouble. But we have Jace here, and we're seeing no super attacks, right? So the fact that we've got no supers, the question is, is can I tank normals okay? 211k defense. Do I think we'll be okay against normals? I might chance it here. Well, I don't know. The Jace on the end could actually take a lot from a normal. Um, so let's just do this. Let's just throw a Whis down. Uh, it's nice to know that we're not getting supered, though, right? And so I think I'm going to go pretty hard on this nail because I don't want nail to hit Jace at the end. So if I can help it, um, I'd like to stop that attack. So let's do that, do that. And then I will have Jace attack nail as well, just in case he survives. My gut feeling is nail probably will die from this, but I'm obviously it's my first time running. So I'm not sure how tanky he'll be, but yeah, eight mail from Frieza here. Uh, pretty good attack stat. Typically in Super Battle Road, they're pretty glass cannony, so they should go down pretty quick. Yeah, he pretty much got one shot there. I think Frieza's going to take him out here. 6.5 on the additional. Love it. Um, I'm thinking with my red coins, uh, the the Frieza and full power, go the Namek Goku and Namek Frieza, they're going to be coming back on the anniversary. Um, when I'm done with my anniversary summons, if I don't have them rainbowed, I might just buy them up to rainbow. I got a bunch of coins. I need to use them somewhere, and I think those are the ones I want to use it on. I really like Namek Frieza and Namek Goku. They're very good units. Namek Goku, like, it's kind of weird because at first, Namek Frieza was the one that I loved. Like, Full Power Frieza was, like, ridiculous. And he still is. But to me, Namek Goku's almost gained a little bit of value over time just because he links so good with, like, these new, like, Goku Gohan units. Like, he's a really good linking partner there. Um, but they're both really, really good. Okay, so the Int Frieza is kind of like a dead duck right now. Um, but, well, oh, so yeah, I guess, sure, let's just do this, and let's just pop this. This just might take them out, yeah. So, that's the other thing that makes this full power Frieza busted, is we've got that active skill that's gonna just help us clean house. So, this is probably gonna be a pretty easy run. The Ginyu and Jace might not even come into play very much, but I just thought I'd take them. Alright, so here's a big one, and we do have Goku family, so my goal here is to leave Gohan alive the longest. Uh, cause Gohan is the only Goku family, so I gotta do my best not to target him. Uh, keep that dude alive. Uh, I think we're gonna, well, who do I like better as a rotation? 
Kind of like, I kind of like getting the big bad bosses here and I do want AGL Frieza. So my play on this is I play very aggressive. So I would rather like use an item, right? So let's use a King at Yemma. So 50% damage reduction. I'd rather play it aggressive, do something like this. I mean, if I attack Piccolo, Piccolo should get one shot. He's probably going to tag Gohan as well. Uh, so I just got to make sure I'm like not targeting Gohan. Because uh, I want to make sure I have the damage reduction from the other Frieza. Um, I might take two shots at Tien. I don't know if Tien would get one shot. Um, yeah, I'm going to take two shots at Tien here. We'll see what happens. But I think the King Yama is a good play just because when there's so many enemies attacking, like, yeah, we would have gotten crushed. Because um, they do hit... Yeah, that was 190 with 50% damage reduction. We would have been out of here because we probably could have eaten that attack. But odds are one of these other four enemies are going to super and we would be dead, right? Yeah, Piccolo absolutely one shot. All right, so so much maybe for leaving Gohan alive. Uh, if we crit here, this Gohan's going to take a lot of damage. It is type disadvantage, though. Okay, so that's okay. Oh, yeah, he is not very tanky. <laughs> that Gohan lost a lot of health there. So is Tien one shot? Yeah. that's. I do kind of like these phases with a lot of enemies because they do go down relatively quick. This is type advantage now, so we might actually take Gohan out. So my Int Frieza might not get his uh, damage reduction. All right, Gohan is still alive. That's good. Sliver of health. We'll take it. Yeah, we're... Dude, even with the King Yama, we're taking a lot of damage. So we've got played safe here. All right. Oh, look Look at all of the super attacks coming here. Um, You know what? I think this is just a Ghost Usher with all those super attacks. See, there's Jace coming through, right? Just letting us know what's up. Um, Yeah, let's just link these two freezes up. Um, Let me see. So Krillin was one of the ones supering. So let's try to get Krillin out of here. Because they're going to continue to super next turn. Uh, Int Frieza, I think I will attack Gohan. Because we've got type advantage. And then Jace is going to take another shot at Krillin just in case. And then if not, he'll go after Gohan if Gohan doesn't die. If things go my way, though, I think my that Jace should be attacking Roshi. is probably what should be happening. Because this Frieza very well... Let's see. Could take out Krillin and Gohan. Because he's... Yeah. I think we're going to take out Krillin and Gohan. So Roshi's going to get slapped up here. And I don't think Roshi... Roshi might have been supering, but we can deal with that next turn. Like, one unit supering is fine. When we've got multiple, then it becomes a problem, right? Okay. Yeah, Roshi's going to survive this. We did lower his attack, though. Ooh, a double from Jace. Nice. I mean, that's the thing. Like, this team's just so overpowered. I'm probably going to put, like, something with Ginyu on the title just because I used him, but he hasn't really come into play here, right? Um, and now we don't have multiple enemies, so he's not even getting his damage reduction, and Frieza's just going to finish anyway, so... <laughs> that's okay. We're, we're going to play it off like we use Ginyu. I mean, we did. He's just not really coming into play here. But he does have damage reduction against multiple enemies, which is very good. It just shows you how strong this uh, Namek Frieza is. Like, he's just dominating this. Um, oh, yeah. And I probably look like a fool here bringing the Int Frieza free to play. Because, yeah, there's literally, other than that Gohan, there's no Goku family here. So he's kind of a... So I basically brought, like, a couple of worthless units. But that's fine. We'll get through. We'll get by. Um, I'm thinking I'll King Yama again. I like the damage reduction because I like Frieza to get the guaranteed double supers. Uh, I'm thinking Kabito's out of here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking Kabito is out of here. Um, I guess just for some miraculous reason, he's really tanky. I guess I'll just keep attacking him. Sure. Uh, but we used the King Yemma, so we should be fine here. I mean, that in Frieza without his damage reduction, even with King Yemma, could take some damage. But I think we're going to be fine here. What's he, what's he going to take here? Almost a 10 mil attack stat. <laughs> yeah, one shot. One shot and then an 8 mil additional. I don't know. You guys tell me a full power freeze is pretty good. Uh, when you got those guaranteed additional supers coming, I think full power freeze is pretty darn good. Yeah. He stacks defense too, but only on 18 key. I like Goku's, uh, Namek Goku's um, stacking a little bit better because he's on 12 key. Now, Namek Goku, I've heard him criticize a little bit that he doesn't stack well enough. And, and like in red zone, he's not that good. So that may be, but I still think that Namek Goku is really good. I don't know. I still think he's pretty darn good. Um, I definitely wouldn't hesitate to rainbow him. All right, and then this should finish off the Fat Kai. And then this should just pretty much be uh, pretty much a, uh, just running through the finish line here. And we get to see where supers are. So we got a super lined up right there. Honestly, I'm probably safe just to use no item here. But I, I'm not going to be foolish. Let's just use a Whis. We didn't need to. Like I think he's going to be dead before that super comes through. But it's just nice having Jace around, man. Don't forget about that STR Jace. He's kind of a fun, like, I 
I just haven't been running Team C's on, but like on Team C's on, I really like him as a floating support option because he doesn't need any Ginyu Force other than him, like just him alone as the only Ginyu Force, he still foresees super attacks and he's still supporting. Uh, and it's 30% attack and defense and I think two or three key to extreme class. It's really solid support skill with a scouter. Yeah, there we go. Uh, whoa, oh wow, he survived that, huh? He just wanted to take a full on hit with a sliver of health. All right, there you go. So uh anyways guys there you go terrifying conquerors honestly that was super easy uh especially even if you don't have that agl frieza guys like bring in like your best leader and just bring a friend and he's gonna help you coast so anyways thanks for watching guys we'll catch you all in the next one